This is number 11.2. Which kind of intermolecular attractive forces are shown in each case? I'll zoom in on them really good right here so you can see them. And you can see that we have hydrogen and fluorine connected together right here. And so since we have an H connected to an F, O, or an N, remember that allows us to have what's called this hydrogen force or hydrogen bonding interaction between these two. So H bonding is for the first one. The second one you can see we've got a fluorine molecule to a fluorine molecule, which are both nonpolar and nonpolar. So the only major force going on here are London dispersion forces. Of course, there'd be LDFs in letter A as well, but this is the major force that's going on in each one of them. And then number three, we have a sodium ion being attracted to the negative end of the oxygen on the water molecule. So this would be an ion dipole force right here, ion to a dipole. And then in the last one, we've got a sulfur dioxide, so SO2, one of these guys right here, and we're going to have a polar molecule with more negative over here and more positive here, attracted to the more negative part of the oxygen molecule in the other, I'm sorry, oxygen atom in the other SO2. And so this would be a dipole-dipole interaction. So the second question, part B, is which of the four interactions is the weakest? Well, since there's not a lot of uh, electrons in the fluorine, fluorine to the fluorine, fluorine right here, this London dispersion force is going to be the weakest. So number two would be the weakest force because remember those are always present in everything and they're the weakest unless you have lots and lots of electrons.